the pros and cons of high-protein low-carb foods. If you are trying to lose weight, or just be healthy in general, you need to follow a healthy diet that is well-balanced and provides all of the nutrients necessary for good health. There are many people who are taking advantage of diets that contain high-protein low-carb foods, and these diets can be great for anyone, whether you are a bodybuilder who is looking to gain muscle and lose fat, or someone interested in losing weight, or need to have additional protein in your diet for health reasons. High-protein low-carb foods for weight loss, a lot of people find that they can't stick to a diet because they are not getting enough food, and they are feeling hungry all the time. When this happens, they tend to snack on things that may not be good for weight loss and the diet ends up being shot. When you use a diet that has high-protein low-carb foods, you will be getting foods that make you feel fuller without all of the fat and calories. Then, you will not feel the need to snack on foods that are not good for you. And weight loss is even easier when you have a number of small meals throughout the day instead of three larger ones. So if you make sure that these meals include high-protein low-carb foods, you will feel full and satisfied all day long. High-protein low-carb foods for weight gain, there are times when people do need to gain weight. For instance, bodybuilders need to have high-protein low-carb foods in order to build their muscles and burn the fat that they do not need. There are also people who are recovering from certain health conditions or surgeries and need to have additional protein in their diets, without having too many fats or carbohydrates. Eating high-protein low-carb foods will help when a person needs to gain weight in a healthy way. Eating the right high-protein low-carb foods, when you decide to go on one of the many different high-protein low-carb diets, or are creating your own that will work for your particular dietary needs, you need to learn which foods are going to best provide you with the results you are looking for. If you are looking to gain weight, yes, there are people out there who want or need to gain weight, you will need to have foods that are not only high-protein and low in carbs, but also higher in fat content. This doesn't mean that it is alright to go out and have all kinds of unhealthy, greasy fatty foods. You need to avoid trans or saturated fats and focus on the foods that contain saturated or polyunsaturated fats, which are healthy fats, and macronutrients that are important elements of a healthy diet. Even though you are in a diet with high-protein low-carb foods, you do need to have some carbohydrates in your diet. Carbohydrates are also macronutrients that are essential for our bodies, but there are certain types of carbohydrates that we need and some that we need to avoid. Simple carbs, or the ones that come from sugar sources, such as white bread and pastas, as well as sweet treats, are the carbs that you need to avoid for this type of diet. You do need to include foods that have complex carbohydrates, such as whole grain pastas, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, to name a few. Meat, unless you are a vegetarian, you should be getting a certain amount of meat in your diet. Meat is loaded with protein, and most servings of lean red meat only contain one gram of carbohydrates each, making lean red meat an excellent choice of food for high-protein low-carb diets. Make sure that the cups of meat you choose are as lean as possible, and if you want to go even leaner, eat poultry instead, which is also a less expensive alternative to many types of red meat. Fish, if you are looking for high-protein low-carb foods, you will find what you want when you add fish to your diet. All types of fish are loaded with protein, especially tuna, sardines, and salmon, so you can enjoy it to your heart's content and know that you are also eating food that is low in carbohydrates. The only exception to this rule is some shellfish, which are often higher in carbs, but still very healthy for most diets. Soy, soy is the only plant-based protein that is a complete protein and it is a popular choice for vegetarians who want to make sure that they are getting enough protein in their diets. Soy milk is delicious and a great way to get the protein you need, without all of the added carbohydrates. Make sure that you do not get soy milk that is sweetened, because it will probably contain the simple carbs that you do not want to have in your diet. Fruits and veggies, even though plant-based proteins are not complete, they are still important to include in a healthy diet. There are many vegetables and fruits that do have lots of protein and are low in carbohydrates. If you love beans or peas, you can get all kinds of protein without getting too many carbohydrates. Potatoes and broccoli are also great sources of protein and even if you are a vegetarian, you can get all the protein you need by eating these foods, and others, in combination. Using protein supplements can help too, when you are following a diet that has high protein low carb foods, there are all kinds of delicious food options available to you. And you may want to include protein supplements. Many of these are very low in carbohydrates, and some have so few calories that they are excellent for promoting weight loss as well. One such protein supplement that is very popular with people who are on high-protein low-carb diets is Brucis, made by Prodica. Brucis provides 25 grams of protein in every serving, but is low in carbohydrates and only has 120 calories, making it ideal for all types of diets, including low-calorie weight loss diets. You can learn more about Brucis when you visit the Prodica website at www.prodica.com. And don't forget to check out some of the other excellent protein supplements that are available from Protica and that can be used in conjunction with the high-protein low-carb foods that you have in your diet.